Hi, Scott Orland with Cinema Magazine. Uh, about two years ago, I went to Detroit to go on the set of the movie Transformers, and I interviewed this Irish actor named Jack Rayner. I am here in Sundance, and I see this movie called Sing Street, and I go, he's in the movie. I don't know where he is in the movie. That is the greatest compliment I can probably give an actor. I did not recognize him. But first of all, Jack, congratulations. It is one of the best films I've seen here at the film festival. To go back to your native country and do this type of movie, yeah. how important was that for you? Brilliant. And also, John Carney's one of my very close friends. It's a very personal film for him. Um, and you know, obviously for me, it's great to work at home. I love it. It's like my comfort zone. I feel safe there. I can relate to the people so much. And you know, it was a fantastic opportunity to make this film. And the movie kind of throws us back a few years to the 1980s, where there is a kid there, his younger brother, who wants to start a band to why not get a girl, the older brother. And you are a connoisseur of 1980s music. How well was that true to the core? How much did you know about 80s music? A huge amount. I was brought up on 80s and 70s music. So, I mean, when I was on set all day, every day, I was Blair and Stevie Dan all throughout the day while, while the crew would set up. So, yeah, but, that was great. Man. But you do something in the movie that a lot of people aren't going to know. You actually play albums. Mm -hmm. Is there a difference for you in an album and then nowadays people stream and... Yeah, I don't think people sit down to appreciate a full album anymore, you know? In the past, people would like buy an LP and, you know, they would sit down, they would listen to a record from start to finish and they would make their judgments on that. And nowadays, we've got like really flashy music videos for singles and everything's really poppy. And I think, you know, a lot of music these days just sounds the exact same. And that's a shame, you know, people aren't really pushing about it quite as much as they were, or at least it's more difficult to find the people who are doing that. But, uh, yeah, the 80s was certainly an era where they were changing things up and it was fresh and it was exciting and that's a nice thing to explore in this film. I have to say, we are here at Sundance. If you hear that's music, we're outside that's one of music. the lounges. I like that, that music. But let me just ask you about how important is Sundance as an actor to break out of film, to break out of performance? Hugely. Um, I was supposed to be here last year um, and unfortunately I couldn't make it. There was uh, someone in my family wasn't well at the time. But uh, I was I was honored to receive the grand jury um, or the special jury prize last year, which was a phenomenal thing to, to get. And of course, I had to come out this year and see what You're coming it was back all to, about. Celebrate, to celebrate, to celebrate, celebrate. Couldn't have picked a better movie. I cannot thank you enough. It is a thank wonderful, so wonderful much. movie. Best of luck, Jack. Appreciate it. Cheers, this is Scott Orman. Until next time.